Still with sport, later this morning, Toronto Mayor David Miller will be announcing the 14 members of this year's Mayor's Youth Cricket Team. The Mayor, pretty handy with a cricket bat himself. These young athletes were selected from diverse neighbourhoods across our city, and the team will be heading to England this Friday for two weeks of training as part of the Cricket Across the Pond program. Among those making the trip is Abdur Rahman. When he first came to Toronto from Bangladesh eight years ago, Abdur did not think that he would be picking up his bat once again, but that changed with his recent move to the Regent Park neighbourhood. He's with me in studio with the rest of the story. Good morning. Good morning. So when you first arrived here in the city, what was it that prevented you from playing cricket? Mainly the monetary issue. I never really had the monetary support to continue with cricket as it is a very expensive sport. And uh, I didn't. I wasn't living in a neighborhood that supported cricket because it isn't a well-known sport in the city as of yet. But uh, over time, like Mayor, Mayor David Miller and uh, also one of the sponsors that is holding, helping me go to England, uh, Sima Canada, mm-hmm. they're trying to encourage uh, youths to come out and join cricket and teams. And there's other smaller organizations who are trying to promote cricket throughout GTA, which is helping out a lot. Now. So there was just nowhere for you to play in, in um, your old neighborhood? No, there was. it was all basketball and hockey in the old neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> now, you moved to Regent Park. What changed when you got there? Just a lot of like-minded people that was there. We didn't... We just all wanted to play cricket. We didn't have a proper facility, but we all wanted to play badly. So what happened was we came together, we went out to the community, we asked for donations, we asked for funding. We started actually playing on the baseball diamonds because there was nothing else flat enough to support cricket. So by doing, you know, by asking for donations, we got to join a small club. So, uh, we got, got to create a small club, and now we play in the Scarborough League uh, cricket association and there we continue to enhance our game and hopefully do something with it you uh, are on the mayor's youth team you yes. applied last year you didn't make it last year but you made it this time around yeah. what's the criteria that you have to meet to to be able to be named to this team and then make this trip to the UK Firstly, you have to be great ambassadors of your community. You have to be good role models. You have to. It's not all about cricket. Mm. You have to apply in, online with your qualifications as who you are as a person and why you should be on the team. And after you have done so, you come in for skill set training, where many people try it out. And from there, 20 selected youth were asked to come in for an interview, where you are once again interviewed by. Is several members uh, of the judging panel and why you should be on the team and what makes you qualified as a good to be a good ambassador of the community that you represent. So you must be pretty handy with the cricket bat, but tell yourself outside of that. I mean, why do you believe you are a good ambassador for your community, but also for cricket in the city? Because uh, I do I do a uh, bunch of different voluntary work. I work with Pathways uh, to Education, which is uh, a smaller known group. Uh, great w- project in Regent Park, though. Yes, very great project. It, it helps uh, younger individuals get opportunities. Uh, then, uh, on top of that, I also work with Toronto Community Housing, which uh, actually is helping me uh, with this opportunity. They uh, told me about this opportunity in the first place. And there I help, I work as a supervisor where I work, look over the summer youth program and uh, these, uh, I help uh, the youth uh, get, uh, get on with their daily jobs mm-hmm. and uh, help them do, help them, uh, do something more to uh, more with their summer rather than just sitting around and do nothing. And I try to show them that by putting in a bit of hard work, they can go and get to a lot of places. And by me being able to help these people do something, it shows that I can be I can do that in a broader scale at the same time. Thus, I can be a better ambassador, and I can do it in an international stage maybe. You convinced me. I mean, you're a worthy candidate, I think. You'll be a great ambassador um, for the city, but also for cricket, which, as you say, is is a growing sport. I ride past on the way home, um, people playing cricket. You mentioned basketball. On a basketball court. They're at the back end of the basketball court. People are playing basketball on the other end. People are desperate for for cricket pitches in this city. You have the mayor's initiative he's going to be announcing as well, this project cricket plan to help get more young people and more women playing cricket, young women as well. Do you do you see a growth of the sport here? Do you see people starting to pick up on it? Absolutely. Just uh, this year, uh, the, one of the biggest uh, cricket or cricket um, leagues in Toronto, which is called the Toronto and District Cricket Board, increased the number of teams that are allowed to play in the in that league, and which is a 
which is something great to see because uh, that is where the elite division players want to play mm -hmm. Toronto and District and Cricket Association so and uh, it's uh, all about uh, getting to the youths at the end of the day. The more you uh, ask the youths uh, if they want to play, uh, the more they would want to uh, participate. I actually started playing with street cricket. Now, I played on rooftops. I played on uh, driveways. Bat and ball, and that's all you need. Bat and ball. That's all uh, practically you need. But like eventually you move on, and you. It's all about for the love of the sport. Mm. That's all you need. You have the love of the sport. As I said, you're a great ambassador for your community as well. Best of luck in the UK. Thank you very much. And have fun this morning. Abudur Rahman, one of the 14 members of this year's Mayor's Youth Cricket Team. It's being announced later on this morning. They'll be leaving for England this Friday for two weeks of cricket training and to play against their British counterparts. And as I mentioned, there's a, another initiative as well called Project Cricket. You'll be hearing about that in the news as well.